course, here in Durham County, it is a very blue county. As a matter of fact, uh, Joe Biden, it was his best county in 2020. He got more than 80 percent of the vote uh, over former President Donald Trump. And so uh, if he wants to flip North Carolina blue, he's going to really need to turn out uh, that base of core Democratic voters. Uh, but today, some of those core base voters uh, say they don't want to be taken for granted and they hope to send a message in this primary. As voters hit the polls on the Democratic ballot, a simple choice at the top of the ticket, President Joe Biden or no preference. For some loyal Democrats hitting the polls early, it was a no-brainer. I think Biden has done a great job. I'm not going to sway from that. Uh, Joe Biden is a better alternative than Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. Definitely. I think anything is better than Donald Trump. But from the streets to calling for a ceasefire resolution approved by the Durham City Council, some who have criticized the Biden administration's handling of the situation in Gaza are now urging registered Democrats and unaffiliated voters to vote no preference as a form of protest. The message I have is listen to your constituents, hold yourselves accountable, otherwise there will be consequences. They say they're encouraged by results in Michigan, where the uncommitted line won more than 100,000 votes against President Biden. In North Carolina, some hoping for a similar result to send a message. And we just can't stand by and let Biden continue to support Israel unconditionally. I would really like to pressure Biden to come out for a ceasefire. Uh, the majority of the country supports a ceasefire. It's something Durham's Mayor Leonardo Williams says he understands. Carpet bombing, killing people, um, you know, um, uncategorically in Gaza is atrocious, atrocious, atrocious. Um, and the president has stated that. But he says when it comes to how he'll vote, he's casting his ballot for the president and urging his fellow Democrats to look at the big picture. One thing I do know is a vote not for President Biden is a vote for Trump. So those who are frustrated, choose your poison. And so the bottom line here is just like in those other early primary states, uh, Joe Biden still very much the overwhelming favorite, but the margin matters. If that uh, no preference line is to reach 15% of the vote, uh, theoretically, they would actually qualify for delegates uh, to the Democratic convention. But the real concern here uh, is what all this means for November. And this is something that the Republican side is seeing as well. Nikki Haley uh, obviously targeting voters who aren't satisfied with former President Donald Trump. So as we head into the fall, uh, something that both uh, sides of the aisle are going to be really keeping an, an eye on, especially in a battleground state. Uh, both sides cannot afford to lose uh, their key, uh, key bases as they head into November. So something we are definitely going to keep an eye on uh, as this election moves forward. Reporting live in Durham, Tom George, ABC 11 Eyewitness News. Yeah.